me go. Ooh, girl, kill him. Ooh, oh. When you see that business account, you'll be able to see your analytics and your insight. On those insights, you'll be able to see. Why, why, why am I not this serious in school? <gasps> okay. Hello, everyone. I'm literally lying down right now. I'm so professional. Hey, I'm Charlize Chu. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to take photos like an Instagram influencer and also just how to become an Instagram influencer because I understand you gotta have that side hustle sometimes. You need to get the bag for your family or for yourself or whatever. This is a great way to get that bag. If you don't want to actually become an influencer, it's still nice, you know, to take great photos and flex on everyone and be like, yeah, I took these photos. <laughs> Not that these things are so important in life, but it's just nice. <laughs> it's just nice to have a good Instagram feed sometimes and have nice photos. I used to take photos all the time and be like, why can't I get them to look the way that Instagram influencers do? So I'm gonna show you guys today because I would say I have some experience. I don't know if I would call myself an Instagram influencer, but I guess that's what you would call it. So I think I can guide you guys and help you take the best photos ever. So for the first part of the video, it's mostly just gonna be me showing you guys how to take amazing photos and then the later half of the video I'm going to actually be giving you guys tips on how to actually become an Instagram influencer or how to be a successful Instagram influencer so yeah make sure you watch this whole video to get all that information it's like I'm the teacher today I actually don't like teaching I feel like I'm actually a terrible teacher let's go take some photos shall we before we even start taking photos first things first is this ow if you do not have someone to take photos for you 24 seven to be at your beck and call, this is going to be your new photographer, your best friend, your bestie boo, maybe your lover, just kidding, that's kind of weird. This is a iPhone stand. It's like, I don't even know how tall it is, but it's pretty tall. You can adjust the height as you see, like there's like handles, you can adjust the height. It has a light, a ring light right here. And then you just put your phone right here. You need to invest in this, especially if you're taking this seriously, you need to invest is something like this because you're not gonna have someone I mean if you do that's pretty amazing but you're not gonna have someone who is able to just take photos for you whenever you want honestly I really like taking photos myself because I feel like I know the angles that I want the best and like the positions I want the best so this is the best photographer of life I got this off of Amazon I will link it in my description below Mine's Daryl, just kidding. I just came up with that name. We're gonna start off with taking photos inside the house. Let's say it's a really bad day or cold day outside and you still need to get your photos in. So we're gonna find places to take photos in our house that are great and amazing, okay? Come on, Daryl, let's go. Okay, so when looking for a place to take photos, one of the most important thing is lighting. Having good lighting and everything, it just really makes your photos turn out amazing. I'm currently in a bathtub in my house and it has great lighting because of the shades right here and it's like nice today. However, if you don't have anywhere in your house with great lighting, that's when your stand Daryl comes in. It has the ring light so it already creates a great lighting for you. So that's number one reason of why I chose this bathtub right now. The second reason is that this bathtub is actually really aesthetically pleasing. It has some decor right here. Look at that. Having an aesthetically pleasing bathtub background is really important as well. You don't want a background like this. You don't want to take a picture like right there because there's a towel on the floor. I mean, you could take a photo right there. You could have that messy aesthetic. If that's what you're going for for your Instagram, honestly, that's kind of cool. Like a really messy aesthetic. Having a pleasing background that's pleasing to the eye is really important as well. Make sure everything behind you is clean, maybe symmetrical. Now we're going to take some photos here in my bathtub and we'll see how they turn out. Mm, how should I do this? I'm setting up my ring light right here and I'm gonna put my phone right there. Right now I have my phone set up right here, but it's a little bit too tall for my bathtub when I'm sitting right here. So I'm going to adjust the legs right now. Eesh. Now I have a pretty good height right here. And when I take my photos, I don't do cell timer. I do video instead because that way I can just, you know, do my thing and then I'll just screenshot any places that I think are good. Honestly, I think the video is the best way to catch yourself naturally and everything. And then I'm going to take the photos and you guys can watch me take photos with 
my video. Okay, ready? Shh, be quiet. I'm about to take photos. Don't distract me. Gotta get in my, gotta get in my zone. <laughs> photos and then I and then I like watch back at the video and I basically just kind of screenshot any of the ones that I think are good as you see look at that look at that look at me go oh girl kill him Ooh, oh if I end up not liking any which is very possible it actually happens quite a lot that I don't like any of them I try to do it again or switch a pose you know whatever whatever I switch angles on my camera a lot it's all about trial and error I think something that really throws people off is the poses and making great poses I think a lot of people are always very confused of what pose to make you know it's not comfortable that's the key about poses though. If it's not comfortable, you're doing it right. A lot of the poses that look good are actually very uncomfortable. Sometimes if you're too comfortable, the photo won't come out that great. You look too like slouchy or whatever. Being uncomfortable is totally fine as long as the photos come out great. <laughs> you know, to be honest, that's really how it is. I just follow a lot of a bunch of different influencers online and I see what they do or else I look up on Pinterest or something different poses for Instagram and I save those not ashamed to say it But like I'll be in my mirror and I'll be practicing some poses, you know You gotta do what you gotta do the more you practice it just comes naturally I really do whatever I like to do like the hand the hand on your your face a lot or I'm like not flexible at all so then sometimes I'll be like you know, like my back is like about to break, but it's fine. It's totally okay. Who cares? Do whatever pose you think might look good because you never know. It might look good. It's all about art. You're the piece of art. Think of it that way. Okay, everyone, we've moved locations now. I have a blank wall right here, and we're gonna take photos right here because if your house is not aesthetically pleasing at all, there's really no place that's neat in your house, the best option is a blank wall. Right now is a good example of a place where I'm gonna need to use my ring light because there's no natural light that's hitting here, really. We're gonna turn it on, ready? Oh, you go, Daryl. This is totally not sponsored, by the way. I feel like I'm acting like this is some type of advertisement. If you, whoever made this, I don't even remember what company made this, but whoever made this, if they wanna sponsor me, that's great, I can take 50 more. This is what I'm seeing right now, a totally blank wall. It looks very professional. It doesn't even have to be white. It can be literally any color at all. And then I'm just gonna take some pictures here, okay? And I'll show you guys the end. <laughs> See, look how amazing that is. Look at me go, you know, a blank wall, it does amazing, it does its job. Before we head outside to go take photos, I'm gonna go change my outfit because variety is key. You gotta get it all done in one day, you know? Let me go change in three, two, one, bam. <laughs> oh my god, that, I feel like that was so bad. Okay, we have moved outside now. Being outside, taking photos, especially now that it's getting warmer and it's nice out, is the best way to get the most like appealing looking photos because the sunlight just hits you well, especially when it's like golden hour, the sun's about to set. I think that's the best time to take the photos, like an hour or 30 minutes before the sun sets. I would recommend taking photos maybe next to flowers, if there's flowers blooming. Can you even see it? Well, we're out here. The lighting's really good. I don't even know if you can tell on camera. What you have to make sure though is that you're not taking it under a shade or under where like you can see the shadow on your face. You gotta make sure that your face is bright and golden, especially under a tree. Don't take it under a tree because that's just gonna cover your face. Look at my dog. He's so sad. Toby, yeah, I'm almost... Let me take some photos real quick, okay? If you can drive, then drive to cool locations. I personally don't like driving, so I just kind of do it around my house. But if you can drive to like a garden, a park, those are all great locations to take pictures. I live in front of like a giant road, so everyone's watching me right now. So I'm gonna go inside. Okay. Okay. 
Okay everyone, I have my glasses on. It's time for Charlize's class, Influencer 101. Now this section of the video, I will basically just be going over. If you want to actually become an Instagram influencer, if you want to get that bag, this is how you're gonna do it. These are the tips and tricks that you're gonna need to know. So get a pencil and paper out and let's get this bread. So we already went through the aspect of like the importance of taking photos, how to take good photos. Another aspect is your appearance. Rule number one, unique appearance. If you're not someone who likes wearing makeup, you don't have to wear makeup for your Instagram photos. But if you're not gonna wear makeup, do something crazy with your hair, have a cool background, have cool outfits. I'm sorry to say this, but you can't just be posting selfies of your bare face because you need to have a reason as to why people wanna follow you. You need to have something unique about yourself, whether it's like a cool hairstyle every day or the way you edit your photos, is that cool? If you want to edit your photos in a cool way, I definitely recommend getting apps like Pixar. I love Pixar. Prequel is also a great app to edit your photos. If you do wear makeup and if you like to wear makeup, definitely try to have unique makeup looks, you know? Find a good niche that makes you unique, you know? Whether that's fashion, makeup, or you just want to take photos, but at least have cool poses if you're going to take photos. You can't just be taking photos of you sitting here like this because you want people to be interested in what you're posting. You can't just be posting regular everyday photos because I can see that on my regular Instagram from people from my school. I can see that every single day. You gotta have something like, ooh, like that people would want to save your photo and be like, I wanna keep this and I wanna keep following you because I like your stuff. Number two, post, oh my gosh, that's so bad. Post a lot. Because if you're taking this seriously, this is like your job. This is an everyday weekly thing. Maybe take one day of a break. That's why I definitely recommend changing your outfit a lot. Just getting a lot done in one day. There are a couple of places to post on your Instagram. So you're posting your photos, you're posting a reel, you're posting an IGTV video, and you're posting on your story. With one of those main feed posts, you need to be posting at least 10 stories a day. So people are constantly seeing your profile on top of their page and being like, oh, she's acting if she's active let me keep looking at what she's doing to go along with that after you post number three promote yourself brand yourself market yourself promote there's no shame in promoting your post i feel like people always make fun of people who like post on their story new post there's literally no shame in that obviously you post on your instagram because you want people to see it i mean why else are you posting on instagram like oh i don't want anyone to see it don't look at this photo like no no one's doing that if you didn't want people to see it you might as well just not have an instagram especially if you want to become influencer you have to do that maybe your followers are following like a thousand different people they're not gonna see you on their main feed at all the time so if you post on their story and they're looking through their stories and they see and they're like oh they post it and then they go and they look at your post and they like it and they comment and they're like I love you that's why you gotta promote think of being an Instagram influencer as a business because it honestly is also under promotion are hashtags. I think it's also a lot of people feel kind of shameful putting hashtags on their, their posts as well why is that shameful? Why do we even have hashtags if that's so shameful? What I like to do so it's not in the caption of my post, comment something under that post and then I put a bunch of hashtags under that comment. Try putting more specific hashtags though. I think the specific, the better. A lot of people like putting very broad hashtags like hashtag fashion, but chances are no one's gonna see it because it's so broad. Not only do I use hashtags on my post, but then when I post on my story, I also put hashtags on my story too. Let me demonstrate. This is my Instagram. If I click this photo I add the photo to my story right I'm gonna put hashtag green outfit hashtag fashion outfit you see I have that hashtag and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that under the photo use hashtags promote the heck out of your photos okay post at the right time. What I like about Instagram is that the algorithm honestly doesn't really change that often. So the posting times are usually the same. The best posting time is 11 to one. Also, you need to switch your Instagram to a business account. When you see that business account, you'll be able to see your analytics and your insight. On those insights, you'll be able to see, <laughs> why, why am I not this serious in school? But 
Listen class, in your analytics, you will see when your followers are on Instagram the most. We're on to number five, which is the last and most important part of Instagram. Followers, we love you. This is to my followers out there. Love you. Your followers are your babies. They're your bestie boos. They're not just the numbers, they're an individual person. Do a simple act of just posting on your story, asking how their day was. They're the reason why you have a following. They're the reason why people are looking at your posts. They're honestly your biggest supporters. You can't just treat them like numbers because they're supporting you. They're like, go girl, you look so hot today. That is the most important thing. And that concludes our lesson for the day. I'm gonna take off my glasses now. But that was really all I had for my video today. I really hope this might have helped you if you want to become an Instagram influencer or if you just want to up your Instagram game and like start posting better. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. I love and support you all and you'll see me next week. Bye!